If you want to learn how to connect DeepSeek with Make.com and NA10, in this video I'll show you exactly how to do it. I'll start by showing you how to grab the API key for DeepSeek and set up scenarios that speak to this platform, both in Make.com and NA10. Having gone through this myself and gone through the trail and the error of getting this done, I understand what goes into it and I want to show you how to avoid that trial and error. If you don't set it up correctly, or if you don't set it up at all, you're essentially missing out on the chance to save 97% costs when using DeepSeek compared to a platform like OpenAI. So let's get right into it. So over here, first of all, I have a make.com empty scenario. We're going to be looking at make.com, we're going to be looking at N8 as well. Now, since I last tried this, the good news is that DeepSeek AI is part of the modules in Megi.com. So if you search for DeepSeek here, you will see this DeepSeek AI. And in it, you can create a completion, you can get your balance, you can make an API call, which is always a great feature to see. And you can list all models. So let's go with list all models. I'm going to create a connection and this will ask for an API key. So if you go to your DeepSeek platform, which is found at DeepSeek.com, you can hit API platform over there and you'll get taken to the screen. If you go to API keys, you can then create a new key. So let's call this test YouTube. Create key, copy this. And if I go back to make, I can paste that in. And this should immediately set up the connection for me. So here I can say the limit should be 10, whatever. So let's run this once. So over here, so far we have two models. We have deep seek check and DeepSeek Reasoner, which is the uh, one closer to OpenAI 01 model, which is the deep thinker, which gives you the step-by-step -step on how it achieved a certain result. So let's use the DeepSeek Reasoner for our next thing. So let's create a chat completion. Let's use DeepSeek Reasoner here. And let's say I'm going to add a message, user, so what's the best way to prepare for a back backing trip? I'm going to save this. And I'm doing this because I want to show you that as of now, using me.com might be slightly easier when using DeepSeek. But there's also a relatively straightforward way to do what I'm, what I'm doing here in NA10 as well. So this is thinking, thinking, thinking. Since this is the reasoning model, it is taking a bit of time. And it will take more time than the normal chat model because it's going through the different steps that a human would have to go through if they were to solve the same query. So as you can see, it's still going here. Okay, got the answers. It's a long string. So preparing for a backpacking trip involves careful planning across several key areas to ensure safety, enjoyment, and minimal environmental impact. So there's step one up until step nine. Great. So let's see what we what else we have here. We have the so choices message assistant. And then this is what I'm interested in. This is the reasoning content. So here it's saying, okay, and figure out the best way to prepare for a backpacking trip. Let me start by thinking about what I know. Backpacking involves carrying all your gear in a backpack and hiking over multiple days, right? So there is the logical reasoning step, which is pretty cool. Did I miss anything? Maybe permits? Nice footwear, budgeting, time management, then it considered the seasons. So there's a lot that goes into that. And it's used, so prompt tokens were 18, completion tokens 1726, and total were 1744. You also get the reasoning tokens right here, so there were a bit more than 1100. So this is deep CKI within Mage.com. A different way to make this happen if this wasn't possible or if this wasn't here would have been to use the http module so i could have gone here and this is what we're going to do in na10 and we could have gone through the make a request module right here so let's move over to na10 and i'll show you how you can do this here so here if i go to na10 and i type deep seek as you can see this doesn't yet exist so I will need to use this HTTP request module. And if I go to DeepSeek once more, and I go to docs here, 
you see I have my first API call. So I need to make an API call to api.deepseek.com and use my API key. It tells me that there are two models, DeepSeek Chat and DeepSeek Reasoner. And this is the curly request that I need to make. So I'm just going to copy this, go to MA10, import curl, and hit import. And that's pretty much it. Now, I need to put in my API key, which can be the same as the one before. And here I need to, let me expand on this here. Okay, which is not opening up for some reason. So let's first test the step to see whether this is working. As you can see, we got the answer back. So we sent in hello, um, or we sent in hello, and we got the answer, which is hello, how can I assist you today? And this is using the deep seek chat model. If, let me try this again, open this up. Okay, I'm not sure why this isn't opening up in a bigger window. Anyway, so here, instead of deep seek chat, I can also look at the documentation and use deep seek reasoner. So I just copy that and paste in reasoner. And let's say you're a helpful backpack, backpacking guide. And let's put in the same query that we had here. So copy that. And I'm going to paste that in. Save. And let's run this step with this new model and this new user query. In a second, I also want to show you one interesting thing, which is the ability to send more complex types of queries in NA10. So let's say that in our, I will get to this in a second. Let's say that in our request, we want to include things like quotes, like backslashes. It would be a bit of an issue, as you will see in a second. So here, let's see what we got. We got the content, which is preparing for a backpacking trip, requires careful planning, physical readiness, and the right gear. Here's a step-by-step -step guide to ensure you're ready for the adventure. So I have the normal information. But I also have this reasoning content, which is also similar to what we got in make.com. So if I open this up in a bigger window, we get this. The user is asking about the best way to prepare for a backpacking trip. Let me think. I need to cover all the essential aspects. So we got pretty much or something along the lines of what we had in make.com when it came to the reasoning steps that DeepSeek has gone through. What I wanted to show you, as I said earlier, would be this string right here. So let's say that instead of saying what's the best way to prepare for a backpacking trip, let's say I have, I don't know, um, a YouTube. Let's go to YouTube and say backpacking trip. I just want to get the transcript of a video. So let's grab the transcript here. Copy this, hit OK. And I'm going to go back to NA10. And for content, we're just going to paste in that transcript. If I try and run that, as you can see, this says JSON parameter needs to be valid JSON. In this case, I will need to come up with something else here in between. If I was using make.com, make will take care of it myself. Like if I try to paste that in, let's go with, a, with the chat model. So it comes back quickly. As you can see, there are no errors. It's working well. And it will immediately, or within a few seconds, give us the response to that. Which I'm not sure it's going to give us because I just pasted the transcript anyway. But result. This is a detailed comprehensive. Okay, so it just analyzed what that transcript was all about, which is fair enough. If we go back here, obviously we have this error that we have to, to deal with. So let me just add a module here. I'm going to edit fields here. And I'm going to add a field. And let's call this transcript it's a string that's fine and i'm going to paste in my transcript here so this is the first thing and what i'm going to do is go to my http request and instead of this as a whole let's just insert 
the variable from the previous node, which is this transcript. And this, as you can see, now we have the transcript inserted as a variable. However, we're still getting this needs to be valid JSON because obviously this is still invalid. So what you want to do if you're inserting this type of information would be to include something like this. So here, I'm just going to replace anything which has new lines, which has empty spaces within different lines. I'm going to replace quotes and anything that might cause this to break in my JavaScript command right there. So technically, I need to copy this. I need to paste that in here. And now this will and should work because I'm making this JSON valid. So let me test this now. And as you see, this is going through all that. So it's using the DeepSeek Reasoner model. And we're passing along the right transcript or in the right format. So it's one chunk of text rather than all the different line breaks, the different sections that there were before. So let's see. And this gave us the response back. So my point is that if you're using this deep seek NA10 type of HTTP request, you need to have some sort of replace in order to ensure that if you have this type of input, it's not breaking your JSON request. And if you were to use this string right here, so dot replace, and then you're just changing this stuff with an empty space. You're just changing this stuff with a double for um, slash, for example. You're just making it JSON compatible. We've got the request or the response here, so that all makes sense. So anyway. The whole point is that if you are using make.com, you can now use the native integrations within make, which are just found right here. You don't need to use an HTTP request. If you are using NA10, that is still not a possibility. So you will need to use the HTTP request by going here and following this type of structure where you're calling the model, sending the message using the role and content, and remember to use the replace feature if you need to make the JSON compatible. And when you use this dot replace, you should be fine. Because this is calling anything that you write in here, which can be in a new format, essentially. And then what this is doing is ensuring that the JSON doesn't break. So let me know how this goes. Check it out. Try DeepSeek. So far, I have good results with it at a fraction of the cost of open air. Let me know how it goes. In the meantime, don't forget to hit like and subscribe so you don't miss future videos. I'll speak to you soon.